Now that we've seen the inside of this motor, let's go ahead and look at some of the things that could happen to it to make it not work. Probably the most common failure with this motor, other than bearings perhaps, is the start winding fails to engage. The start switch I showed you in the last video doesn't make contact, so the start winding never comes in. This motor here uh, draws 5.9 amps. This is upside down, so it's hard to read. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in, and I've... I've set this thing up so that the start winding will not engage. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, if you notice the amperage draw on this thing is running pretty close to 20 amps. So, this motor is going to overheat very quickly and it's going to kick off its internal overload. And that's because the start switch didn't make. In fact, the overload just shut this thing off. Sometimes it doesn't take very long. So, when, when you come onto a motor like this, that that's what's happening, I usually take and tap it like that with a hammer. Don't hit it too hard, you'll bend it. A lot of times the motor will start. Doesn't mean you fix the motor. The switch is bad in it, which means you have to replace the motor. The switches are very seldom available for these. There we go. Okay, you can see it started. I shook the switch to the point where it started working again. Now I'm drawing 5.87. <laughs> Interesting. No, no load on it at all. Anyway, this one's kind of wore out. But Okay, another problem you can sometimes have with these is the start switch sticks on. Let's look at what happens when this happens. Now here we have a condition where I've, I've made the start switch stay on. That means the start winding's always engaged. So let's see what happens when we fire it up. Okay, you can see we're running much higher amperage than we should, pretty much the same. Well, you also notice there's smoke coming out of it. Yes, we have smoke. And more smoke. At least the amp draw is going down. Okay, well you can see it burned out, but it's still running. Uh, it's drawing more amperage than it should. Not by a whole lot, but somewhat more. Uh, so what it did is burn out the start winding. I'll pull this thing apart and you can take a look. Okay, let's take a closer look at those windings. Now note, these windings here are okay. They don't look bad. Although they're right next to the windings here, so they probably got overheated too. Uh, and that may be the cause for the overdraw and power, but you can see these have Essentially just burned up They're a mess Okay, they shorted out or they didn't short they actually opened and uh, That has caused The failure of this motor and that was because the start switch was stuck on that's all it was anyway That's the uh, centrifugal start motor troubleshoot